birds can do a very interesting thing, and that is they can sleep with one eye open. This had been observed uh, decades ago, um, but nobody had really addressed what was the function of sleeping with one eye open. Now, this might seem like an obvious question, and the obvious answer would be that they're watching for something dangerous while sleeping. You can imagine that sleeping is a very dangerous state to engage in, especially if you live with predators. Um, and so we were interested in testing whether uh, birds use this to uh, watch for predators. And maybe I can uh, just back up one second and talk about the image that's currently on the screen. Um, for many animals, there really is this fundamental conflict between the need to be awake and the also the need to get their sleep. An interest in this conflict dates back thousands of years, as shown in the legend depicted in this uh, piece of art. According to this legend, um, in order to stay safe while sleeping, one crane in a group would stay awake holding a stone. And if he started to fall asleep, he would relax and drop the stone, and thereby awaken everybody. Um, and uh, that's how they were thought to keep themselves safe. Now, there's absolutely no scientific evidence that the <laughs> cranes do this. But uh, as I was discussing, uh, birds can sleep with one eye open. And when they have one eye open, the half of the brain connected to that eye is, is kind of in a, a, a awake or slightly drowsy state. Um, and so we were interested in learning whether um, they can actually choose when to sleep this way or, or when to sleep with both eyes closed, because they don't <laughs> sleep only this way. They spend a lot of time sleeping with both eyes closed. And so what we wanted to do was find a way to make them feel a little nervous when they were sleeping. Just a little edgy. A little edgy. Um, and so we thought about various ways, you know, show them a cat or, or, or something. <laughs> um, but, uh, and while we were trying to figure out how to test this, uh, I was observing some of our ducks that we were studying in the laboratory. And I saw that two of them at night were floating in the water next to each other. And while they were doing that, they were closing the eye that faced each other and opening the eye that was facing out from each other. And that, uh, right then and there, the birds designed the experiment <laughs> for us. Uh, um, people often say, oh, that's such an elegant study. And I have to say, well, it, it came from a bird brain. So. <laughs> did, did you acknowledge the ducks in your paper? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> So, um, so this is this is the experiment, uh, kind of the upper, the way you yeah, set it up. Yeah, the upper image uh, shows the actual experimental apparatus. And so, what we did is we literally put our ducks in a row, <laughs> and uh, um, we did this because it's been shown in many animals that the animals at the edge of a group spend more time being vigilant, like antelope in Africa. If they're at the edge of the group, they lift their head up and interrupt their feeding more frequently than the ones in the center. Presumably, the ones at the edge feel more exposed and more at risk of being eaten because the predator would get them first. So we put our ducks in a row, and what we found was a, a very dramatic effect of where they were in the group. The birds that were in the more central positions that were flanked by ducks on either side they spent most of their time sleeping with both eyes closed and both halves of their brain. But when the birds were positioned at the end of the row, they uh, switched, and they spent much more time sleeping with one eye open, and they showed a profound preference for directing that open eye away from the other birds, as shown in the cartoon at the bottom. So this clearly showed that uh, they have this capacity to sleep with one eye open uh, and that it serves a function in allowing them to get some sleep without getting eaten 